And hey, welcome back. I want to bring it to your attention. Take a look at your screen now, this week in terms of Indiana is severe weather preparedness week, the 10th through the 16th. Though each day uh, being the first alert station, uh, we're going to try and get you up to speed and just kind of fill in those gaps in terms of understanding severe weather and exactly how you can respond and how we're going to help you prepare for independent severe weather and spe uh, specifically first alert weather days. We start right here on your Monday. A uh, difference between a watch and a warning, although we didn't have to get to today for us to talk about the differences. Remember at a tornado warning uh, a few weeks ago uh, on a Tuesday night where we did just that. We went over the difference between a watch and warning. This is a much better time uh, to take a deep breath and again understand the difference. So if we're first alerting you to a watch, what we want you to do is uh, get ready. You know where a shelter is and monitor the sky conditions with us. You can do that with the first alert weather app and of course check that first alert weather app for the very latest. But a watch is get ready. A warning, especially if we're in a first alert weather day and you hear one of our meteorologists say warning, we go from get ready to take action and you want to get to your shelter. But it's one of those situations. Now is the time to ask the questions. Where is your shelter? Where is the safest place in your home? That way, when we get to this situation, you're not having to ask those questions. You already know where they are. And that's why we're doing this. Uh, first alert weather, uh, severe weather preparedness week, so we can fill in those gaps and have those answers ready should we get into a situation where we're warning you to take action. Of course, when we do have any warnings, uh, you'll be first alerted to them on the w, uh, WNDU first alert weather app. As for future track, so as we work away from severe weather preparedness, we're working into more springtime conditions. In fact, Tuesday it's going to be warm up near 70 degrees in and across the area. Something we first alluded to last week for this week has to do with those warmer than average temperatures all week long. This is Tuesday at 10 a.m. Upper 40s, lower 50s. Check out the mercury going up near 70 degrees. Now, I want to stop this at 9 p.m. on Tuesday. We're up around 60 degrees. I take this opportunity uh, to first alert you to some colder temperatures next week. 9 p.m. next Tuesday is going to feel a lot different, and we're going to be flirting with sub freezing temperatures for our morning. So, again, that's next week, and you'll see that in the full 10 day forecast. Otherwise, for your Wednesday morning, May get some patchy fog, otherwise some cloud cover. It's this Wednesday at 7 a.m. Temperatures in the 50s, a passing shower or two, but otherwise mostly sunny skies with that flow coming in from the south and from the southwest. Noontime temperature looks good right around the mid 50s for the afternoon. A quiet evening with a few isolated showers, but don't let that get in the way of your outdoor plans you got to make them in these kind of conditions. This is Wednesday at 8 p.m. Uh, upper 50s, lower 60s in and across the area. And then Wednesday and into Thursday morning, uh, you're right around 50 degrees. Again, first alerting you to conditions changing next week. We are not quite at the point uh, where we're stuck with these warmer temperatures. They're they going to fluctuate into next Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So again, there's future track uh, Thursday at about 6 a.m. In that overall forecast, the temperatures for the rest of the night tonight, a little windy uh, through the afternoon, late afternoon, early evening hours, down to about 51 degrees by 10 p.m., uh, otherwise the mid-40s by 2 a.m. In that full 10-day forecast, so again, first alerting you to three things. Uh, the first one is going to be right there, 68 degrees. Compare that to where we were today, around 60 degrees, nearly 10 degrees warmer for your Tuesday. Second thing I want to first alert you to, that's going to be your Thursday with that cold front coming through. We go from around 60 degrees to around 50 degrees with a few isolated thunderstorms possible in the forecast. Severe weather threat remains low. And the third thing I want to first alert you to check out the right side of your screen. The no. reason why we go 10 days out no. is to give you enough notice to prepare for what's coming. Uh, you said this last week, the, the entire team. Yep, the 40s and <laughs> yeah. potentially less than that. Yep, exactly. now warming up for good just yet. Yeah. Exactly. Yep, okay. and we'll keep an eye on uh, first alert weather days this week as of right now. There are none. Good. Let's prepare. Thank you. We appreciate it. We'll be right back. Okay.